Okay, and welcome here to this uh, Group D mashup of the 2017 Total Calf Champions League. And this is between uh, Katon Sports of Cameroon and uh, Al Hale, Al Hale of uh, Egypt. So it's Katon Sport FC of Cameroon taking on Al Hale Sporting Clubs of Egypt. Al Hale Sporting Club is one of the most decorated uh, club side in African football. I think they have the highest amount of, uh, they have won this uh, competition the most. And, uh, but nowadays they have newer, you know, challenges. A lot of teams, uh, you know, have emerged and uh, have given them a challenge. So this is their squad here, the lineup. And then this is the Katon Sports uh, squad this year. And uh, this is the lineup for Katon, Muhammad and Jok up top and uh, Kingu yeah but like I, like I was saying uh, the a um, uh, lot of teams have emerged with firepower that's challenging the uh, old guards uh, you know the dominant the old dominant teams of, 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 of the past who were dominant at this competition and uh, teams like Sundowns and uh, the TP Mozambes you know they are all uh, step up in the last decades and uh, I mean you know, Mozambique have won it I think five times five or six times if I'm not mistaken so you have uh, you know a lot of teams are, are coming up nowadays to uh, uh, pose a challenge and it is good for Africa football to be honest you know it is good to have a variety of teams uh, uh, winning this, this this competition and also their uh, confederation cup also so it's, it's a good thing uh, uh, for African football and I think we should cherish that and we should hope that we see a lot of strong teams emerging from uh, all four corners of the continent. You know, the South, they, they, I mean, the South have, have sundowns and they, and they have some, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the Zembes and, uh, and those, those clubs down there. And we have to see, you know, we, we hope that a club like St. George is going to emerge and be a stronger contender uh, from the East. Uh, and then we are hoping that uh, the West uh, will also bring in uh, some giants into some uh, club like uh, Carton Sports uh, uh, who have, have been uh, uh, you know who have been in this competition and uh, uh, and I think they have won it before either won it once or been a runner up once or something like that so I'm, I'm thinking it's a good thing so we hope that uh, a lot of clubs emerge from all over the uh, it's a goal it is a goal it is the opening goal here from our Ali the Egyptian side for Maulul. Maulul has uh, opened the, the uh, score sheet here for the Egyptian side. And it's one goal to nothing here to uh, to the Egyptian, to Ali of Egypt. So like I was saying, you know, it's a beautiful, yes, you know, on the far corner there and uh, from off the corner. And the goalkeeper couldn't uh, really do anything about that. And he just snuck in behind the defense and, uh, and occurred it in there. But like I was saying, yeah, so we're hoping that we see a, a, a teams like Horia, you know, emerge as a powerhouse in the Confederate Cup. And uh, we're hoping to see um, a cartoon sport coming back, you know, into this because we want to see more strong teams from all over Africa and you know, in this. That's the only way this competition is going to, you know, I mean, it's already a prestigious competition. Don't get me wrong. I mean, we've seen, uh, I mean, I'm not doing a simulation here, but I mean, I've been watching the Aria games going on and uh, We've been seeing some beautiful goals being scored, you know, and some beautiful uh, dribbling skills, some beautiful you know, attack and, uh, and, you know, team play and uh, interchange of passes. So the football is, is uh, we're seeing beautiful football in this competition and we're hoping that the, the new CAF president will, will take CAF uh, to, uh, to a higher height than the uh, previous president, uh, higher to date. I uh, mean, even though we felt that the uh, organization began stagnant for a little while, um, but we're hopeful that with this new uh, leadership that uh, we will see uh, better, you know, things to come from uh, the Confederation of Af the Confederation of African uh, Football. So let's as uh, we let's get back to the match. Enough of my ranting on, and uh, but I'm just I mean I'm just a proud African, and I love the continent, and I just I'm, I just want the best uh, for for the continent, and I just want to see the football grow, you know, so that we can uh, have more people on the continent supporting the uh, African clubs and uh, uh, so that at least with that support we probably will you know so the clubs can also see money flowing to 
into the clubs and uh, hopefully we will be able to attract more homegrown talents and uh, we'll be able to keep uh, um, most of our, of, of our African talent here at home uh, uh, playing quality football and uh, you know with, with good wages so you know let's hope that we see a feature uh, like that for African football and uh, and I'm hoping to for Liberia to also rise up uh, out of the ashes and uh, get back and in, and in, into the footballing stage and see if we can produce another George Weir and uh, so you know we, we we have a lot of quality talent in on the continent it, it's just that we need the people who have the money to support these clubs to to invest in these clubs you know um, uh, like the other time I was, I was talking about uh, a year in about uh, what's his name the the, the, the richest African Dengote the Nigerian talking about buying Arsenal I'm sitting there like why would you want to buy Arsenal you have you could buy a Nigerian club I don't know if he owns a Nigerian club already but you could buy a Nigerian club and you got money you could give them a state of the art facility you could you know uh, promote that club to become a powerhouse in Africa and even represent Africa at the uh, club World Cup you know and uh uh, represent them at the club world cup and and bring home that trophy that would be something good for africa why not do that why do you want to invest in, in into uh into a, 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 a english club i mean you're probably not going to be taken seriously i'm not trying to be negative here but i love Arsenal. that's my team you know we've been having some trouble times lately with the american owners 10 which i i think i don't know if he's ready me in business or not but it seems as if he doesn't uh he doesn't mean any business but uh, i'm just saying i think the, the africans with money needs to look into investing in the club in their home country and uh, putting their money there and and, and building it up like the, uh, the other people uh, the other european do they, they invest in clubs in europe you know i mean it might not be their own country but at least it's within their continent so invest in a club in if not in your own country but on the continent you know because we need to bring these civil where we need to bring the uh the club world cup home to africa we need we need that we need those investment in, in pouring into african football you know african football can be big it can be big you see what happened with brazil brazil's people in brazil they start putting money into the club and guess what the brazilian league is, is a good league they pay the player good wages and most of these guys go out and they want they leave europe and go they leave europe and go back home to brazil those um they leave and go back home to South America to play. They are, some, they are not old, some of them are still young. They're like Adriano, he left, he just got tired of Europe and he was still young, group, in good form and just went back to, and just caught a quit from Europe and went back home to Brazil. So, I mean, we, why, why not? Why can't this happen in Africa? Why can uh, our young talent stay? Why can't you guys with money invest in these clubs and, 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 and help this competition to be something better, you know? So, um, I mean, enough of my renting. I mean, I should be uh, commenting in the match, but uh, I'm renting on here. And uh, it's just my view. It's just my talk. I think we have, we have something here in, in uh, Africa. We have a beautiful uh, 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 continental club tournament. They, they, this, the uh, CAF Champions League, the uh, Confederation Cup. And, you know, we talk about our Cup of Nations and uh, our honors, you know, 17s and 19s and 21s and stuff like that. So we know these 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 are investment that people with money on the continent can make. There's money in Africa, but the people you know people don't want to invest that money in, in in that way. You know, you could take a lot of young guys out of poverty and and you know help them be somebody. You know, so here we go. Let's go on with this match. The 69 minutes, 70 minutes, and a goal here from Caton Sport of Cameroon. And it is 1-1, one, one, and it's Mahamat. It's Mahamat with an equalizer here for Katon Sports. And uh, it is all tar here. And uh, I know I've rent, rented through the match, but this, uh, it's, it seems to be a beautiful match brewing here. And a beautiful true pass there with a beautiful goal. Calm goal. Under pressure, but calm. Look at that. With the two defenders breathing down his back, he took his own time and calmly placed it into the lower corner. 1-1 one, one here between the both squad. So it's uh, the 71st minute of this match. is uh, Zachary to Said. Said into the box and the goalkeeper Katun Spoo will come and collect the deflected pass. Tambay, Duada, 
Romarak, Mahamat, towards Dwada, Mahamat, Romarak, over the top on the flank to Bimbi, sends it back to Romarak, into Dwada, still Dwada on the top of the box, and it's Jock on this pen dispossessed and it's clear there by the uh, Egyptian Ali and the Ali in the t in the count on the counter here rather is Antwi Antwi to Abdul Salim and it's Gali Hussein Gali and it's been uh, intercepted by the Cameroonian the uh, Katon Sport defense a long ball of the top but Ali in control uh, Babi to Ngubi to Malu and it's the 87th minute of the match is Metep can he get there? Yes, sends it on top to Abdullah. And it's Gali in the box. A beautiful save there by the Cameroon, by the Katon Sport goalkeeper. Three minutes of extra time. We are in the 90th minute. And Rahel Goma. And it's clear there by Katon Sports. Jock here on the counter for Katon Sport. Jock moved down feet. Can this one last attack? The 94th minute, three minute extra time. And such a beautiful shot there by Jock, by the goalkeeper. Save it. And it's almost over here. And the referee sounds his way, sir, for the end of this match. And it is 1 1 here to both, uh, both sides. Ali 1, Katon Sports 1. So a draw here in this uh, Group D matchup between these two sub Ali in the blue of Egypt and Katon Sports in the green and white of Cameroon. So we say thank you again for joining us here. Uh, then uh, watching this video and uh, for supporting us if you haven't subscribed to the channel subscribe there and uh, you know show your love watch our videos and to show your support and help us and uh, celebrate Africa with us and African football thank you again for joining us have a good night